folks, welcome back to your channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we're looking at the map called Horngen by Ascardo TV. It is 227.52 megabytes download. There is a bunch of required mods and they are as following. The, the placeable fill station by Aztec VR. The placeable story trader by Agrario. Ag Agrario. Fill solid by Team LTW. Old Muir Heat Pack by DDEC96. German Grey Mail by Talker LS Normandy, the Agricultural Fair by Shenben, European Amps by Velort, Solid Plate by RLSF Modding, Lime and Minor Station by Michu77, Farms Market, the Free Solid Cow Farm Pack, or sorry, Free Solid Farm Pack, Old Village Building Pack, and the Sugar Mail by Bernisk, and lastly, the Sixty Buildings Pack by Black Sheep Modding. So, with all of these required mods, that is an additional. 280 megabytes so this map is actually not 227.52 it is for 507 508 megabytes in total so yeah there is a bunch of required mods which i do not like in the map and that but i've got to be fair on that to be fair it is actually well done it's actually been well implemented on this map this is a good little quality german map i think this is based on and look at the description as following Origin together with Mengen and Bison form the so called Bites that are closely linked culturally and socially. In Harlingen, you literally live on the sunny side of Merzig. Because of its special location, Sarland has one of the most sunny days on average throughout the year. With almost 500 inhabitants to culturally and historically unique Lady Chapel and a lot of landscaping around it. Harlingen is a magnificent example of rural ideal. The Harlingen is a replica of a small village in Harrigan in Sarland. In Harlingen you can find two courtyards, one BJ, two apple orchards, two short willows, 85 fields including five fields for grapes, fill size between 0.01 to 12 hectares. There are six productions and two forestry areas, so that is the description. So yeah, terms with slot counts on farm manager and start from scratch. Slot count is 1,508, but can get, can go down to 1,398 once you remove all your starting equipment. And yeah, so we're also same here on a new farm mode, 1,508. And yeah, you can get that slot count down even more if you want to by removing all the placeable items, because we got a bunch of farms. So yeah, we've got farms like night two nets. And yeah, a couple other errors in that with things like your orchards uh, up here in that. Also, yeah, we do have some vineyards over here. So yeah, I've got a couple of vineyards here and two over here. We do own any of those. Prices in that are not too bad overall. Around like the half mil mark is your maximum amount. The forestry areas, so you can purchase two forestry areas for 335 or 195 grams respectively. However, if you go and purchase plot 255, not only do you get a larger forestry area, you also own all of the, you can actually a lot more forestry areas, and all just like surrounding areas in that. And how much is that? It is free. But yeah, fill prices in that on their own, yeah, upwards about 600 grand. So yeah, they can be pretty pricey in that, but depending on what economy mode you're on in that, it can be worth it. Obviously on new farm mode, sort of plot 73, so field 68, plot 10, which is a vineyard. On top of that, you've got plot three plot 30, field 30 in that. Got your farm area over here, which does include a little house area over here we'll have a look at. And then lastly, plots 39, 62, so fields 34 and 57. So you've got a little bit of a mixture to start off with in that. In terms with your starting equipment, you do have a small selection of equipment. So, for your small tractor, you've got the Valtra A135 high tech and the Landini Rex 4120 GT. So, a normal small and a grape vineyard tractor net. Even though you do own a vineyard, do you own any kind of harvesters in that? Great technology. Besides from the trailers, the pruners, and that. So, really everything besides the Harvester, the plow, you can use this for your vineyards if you wish. Also, you got a 1986 pickup, a welder trader, and yeah, that's eventually you got your pruner, fertilizer, and your grape trader. 1.2 meter plow, a 
two and a half meter Rabi cultivator, a Nordschlein HK 25 and NS3030 drill, a Amazon fertilizer spreader, small front mower, with a small pond jerk, wind rower and tether, a baby beater, the massive Ferguson one, also you got a feed mixer and that, the Coon Route 142, Joskins Aquatrans, and then that's the front loader with a bucket and a weight. So, obviously you start off here when you first load in, nice little idyllic view in that. Actually, I do have to say, that is a very good and a beautiful landscape that is. Obviously it's using the sort of base game, I think it's the Alpine landscape so now, I think it is. I do see this a lot on main maps. But yeah, so you've got a little information error over here, and that's just the real life like Google. I think, I think it's like the Google Maps like overview of it in real life in that. So this is based on a real place in that. So that is PD and slot counts. Quickly go over your sell points in that. So if you look at your prices in that, so obviously you've got the agricultural fair as one acquired mod, so that will take pretty much everything. Including some of your platinum expansion items and that if you do use those DLCs. On top of that, you've got your fruit and oil press, so that's gonna be obviously your oil mill net. Grain mill, of course these are from the required mods and that, so also yeah, you can buy seeds and that if you want to. Again, a no required mod, BGA net, small vegetable garden net, so that is a uh, it can be used as a sell point, but you can purchase the error if you want to, I think. Now going down to some of your productions and that, so... Furniture and that, agricultural fair... Also, yeah, you do have your like, climb tire frames and that, as again, part of the required mods and that. But all these do have a go to a sell point, which is the agricultural fair, so... Yeah, yeah at least you got something your items can go to and that. But yeah, Agriculture Fair is going to be your main sell point on the map. And yeah, so that is located down here. So yeah, all your sell points is going to be down here. Also, you've got your Green Mill over here, your BGA. Then yeah, your Forest Market, Lime Station, all that. You can buy areas over here. Manure Station and Surrey Tax. You can buy Manure and Surrey. Your Oil Press is over here, let's try to find out what that one was. But yeah, soil mill, vehicle shopping at, that's going to be spawn point and reset point. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Bakery, agriculture fair, so that's going to be your sell point. And then yeah, dairy, then lastly your sugar mill, and then your main farm. As we head up north, it's sort of like a U-shape, you can't really do a full circle that. I'm sure if you want to, you can get creative in that. Actually, you know, the possibility to get across that through like some of these woods and paths and that. So it's very clear on the PD and that, but we're gonna have a little look as we go around. But yeah, so I'm gonna go into our pickup and that. So tab over, so we literally just came across here, so I think first of all, actually you know what? I'm gonna change things up here on my map towards and that. I actually you know what now, but no, keep tower going now that as we just go along. So yeah, we go through the woods and that, and so yeah, like half the forestry now, like three quarters of it can be bought for free. Obviously, I'm not too fussed in particular about that. Well, I know some people may have an issue with that, but at the end of the day, it's actually how you want to make it with that. But yeah, very large forestry here, so again, it's a perfect map for a mixture of forestry and agricultural farming. Oh yeah, overall, this is a nice map it is, just a downside with the requiring mods and that, so we'll come out of here, so... I think, yeah, actually, I'm not sure what, this funny enough, actually works out quite well, so... We'll go past your vineyard you do have on new farm remote. So yeah, a small forestry area over here. Also, there is no custom, oh sorry, no custom crop types, there is a custom crop calendar by the looks of it. So that custom was that base game that actually I think it's slightly adjusted that so Oh no 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 I oh, wanna just look that map that just now the Lady Hill map that by FS and Ski Vince. But yeah, it seems to be a base game crop candor. But yeah, so if I go into drone mode, so yeah, roads, scoes and ends. Obviously you got your arrows over here. 
But yeah, so yeah, there is a dirt track at Khadid for forestry net. At Khadid up to this north area over here now. So this is where you can have something like your orchards and that. I'm not gonna drive up to here. I may actually yeah, we'll do that now. I'll purchase and then we'll just go to the area now because yeah, driving through the woodlands and that don't fancy doing time jumps and that all the time, so yeah, we'll go over here, so we purchase this area. Again, something like this could be a nice starting farm area. Again, you do have your apple tree as productions, and once you do get, you know, I'm just going to purchase everything now, so that's going to be one farm down here. I'm going to purchase that. I think that is a, no, that's just sheep pasture net. That. That's going to be another little pasture area, I think. That is a sheep pasture here on line 6. There is an orchard down here somewhere. So yeah, uh, yeah it's that one there. That's going to be your another big orchard. And then I think that is it. But at least you can purchase every area on the map. And yeah, that's how your productions will look like. So yeah, got your great processing unit, small vegetable garden, your many, many apple trees. And again, your small vegetable garden net. That's going to be your technically short sell point, but it ain't really in that. But yeah, I think that is almost maxed out the, was it, 50 soap productions you can have. But yeah, so overall, nice little sorting air in that, potentially in that. But anyways, I'm going to go along here because we've got quite a bit to look at. And yeah, that's what I want to do is create another hour long video in that. So try to get this done in what, half an hour or so because overall, it's not too much to look at. A lot of it is very compact into you know, the areas and that around the map. But yeah, so you do have a nice actual road in that. Nice look. I think it is German, is it? Sorry, I don't think it is German by the name of it in that. But yeah, sort of on the PDA on the left. We're going to shoot down here. So yeah, you do have a town area for all your productions, all your hub areas in that. Actually, these fingers are pretty huge in that, to be fair in that. May not look much of it on the PDA, but especially when doing it length face like that, rather than across. It does look more fuller, it does, I think, personally in that. But, so, yeah, anyways, there are pre placed farms in that, including on all three game modes in that, so we're going to have a look at them individually. And yeah, this is where it does, actually, the map does warn to me in that. It's a map I want to play often, perhaps not. A lot of it is down to the part of mods it is, so I thought to create my own farm in that, then fair enough. But yeah, so into the outskirts of the rural town in that. I'll say the town weren't loosely enough, so let's get rid of that all save there, so get rid of that. And then that's the I want to do is turn that off, so it will smash the engine start is off. But yeah, we'll go along here first of all, and this will lead us to your main farm in that. This is going to be the main hive of your farm business. And uh, yeah, i got to say that, yeah, it actually is a very good farm it is. Yeah, props there is all well done, nicely tight, compact and that, as it is in real life, or how it should be in real life, for these kind of maps and all these, these kind of farms and that. But yeah, animal pens and that. And yeah, that's what I want to do, is make sure I've got everything turned on. Which I do not, so yeah, there we go, got your icons now on. But yeah, things like the free side farm builders and that, just buildings by Black Sheep Modding, all good top quality mods. And yeah, just something like that, that is a very perfect in that. And actually, potentially that could be the thumbnail there for the map tour net. But anyways, put everything back on. Yeah, I doubt that's going to be the thumbnail, but something like that, that'll be something on a nice post car net. Seat trigger and that's at your main farm. Anyways, back into the pickup. So, yes, yeah, so you do have your uh, greenhouse area over here. And yeah, everything can be sold if you shed snap. And yeah, everything is just all dotted around. 
but yeah, overall it is a good farming. It's just, yeah, it's probably quite bold to that, but it's what it is. And yeah, I am maybe a bit over harsh when it comes to requiring mods and that, but that is just my passion that. So I think we'll loop around and go back onto the main road, then we'll head up north. And even though there is no custom crops in that, for some reason, Aussie Radish, that's been... I think, yeah, maybe the little greenhouse areas and that, little divots of land over here and that. But yeah, that's been painted as purple, or the colour of it has been changed to purple now, in terms of how it looks on the PD and that, because usually Aussie Radish blends well with the grass icon and that. But anyways, back on the road again. I got to say, this is a very odd, again, idyllic, beautiful area and that. For a kind of little kind of... Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's German and that. This kind of map, this kind of vibe. I do get that kind of German vibes to it. Again, I could be wrong on that, so... Sugar Mill is over here and that. Oop. Into the bin I go. So you can purchase sugar mill, and then yeah, you use sugar cane, sugar beet cuts, and sugar beets. Man, I struggle to get these words up then, but <laughs> to get sugar that. Back onto the asphalt. So yeah, we'll go and drive around. So sheep pastures down here and that. We'll have maybe have a little look at that when we go to the oil presses out once we get to this area. But yeah, so you've got your dairy. Agricultural Fair and that, so... Yeah, Agricultural Fair is a good quality mod, it's what I do use sometimes in that. So yeah, Dairy is just over here, so up to lane. Nice little pond area, you know, get free water in that. That, I do love the custom... The wildlife sounds in that. That is nice, a nice little touch. But yeah, so that's going to be your dairy just up here. Okay, I've got that mixed up with how the icon was looking at. Sorry. But there you go. I think you go along here. So you've got your agricultural fair to the right. And again, I've got to say, well, the implementing that. And yeah, I didn't go for build mode as such because there's nothing unique in build mode, it's just all the acquired mod stuff in that. But yeah, just taking the view now, that's what, this is what's going to do the map very good in the ratings, apart from the acquired mods in that. So yeah, got your orchards, some of your orchards down here, no sorry, not your orchards, um, your fill points in that, so... I think I've gone past the farm shop, no, the farm shop is up here in that. Or the vehicle shop and that. But you've got a little farmer's market area over here. And then yeah, your buy point for your water and fertilizer and all that. Come out of here, once again, yeah, and this ship and that is going to be over here, so we'll have a quick look at that. So up up along. And hop to the and the ship and that again. Very well done, that. It's been very well placed in that. So, yeah, a little loop around. Sorry for any tick noises. Yeah, that was just a mic there playing up there a sec. Or the cord of it, shall I say. I think, you know what, I'm going to be a bit cheeky in that. And then I'm going to just go straight across on this and that to get everything covering that. So. I have been a bit creative, maybe, of how our initial was planning on going. But yeah, so your BGA now is over here. Again, I can't really see it too much now, but it is over there. Nicely blended in with the landscape. And now, again, something like that is really stick and absolutely, again, it's been well implemented. So, BGA now with your automatic gates, entrance, and Exit. All the entrance is over here because you've got your way station next. And yeah, BJ Nat, so we're going to have a little look. Purchase it for 875 grand. Base game, BJ, by the looks of it. Yeah, normal recipes as such. 
But yeah, a nice little BG hub now. Again, props. Then we head out of here, and I think now we're going to head up to the second main farm now. So I think that is up here now, by the looks of it. Or I should go maybe up and across a bit onto the main roads. Hopped up there a little bit, so there we go. Oh yeah, it's all main roads just dirt tracking that. But yeah, got a little place we're airing at, so that is actually part of it's a part of the farm section over here, so yeah it is that. So when you purchase this farm area for six hundred and thirty one grand, do you get a place we'll air in that? But yeah, buildings by Black Sheep modeling that. Very reminiscent to that of the old street farm. But yeah, it does look very nice. Well implemented, especially with all the landscaping though, the again not everything sort of all bumpy and lumpy now, as I was trying to say. It's actually very smooth in that. Decent air for your bumper silos and plenty of space to turn around in that. Yeah, also you got your lanes to your free forestry area. Then yeah, so come out of here, and then yeah, I think we'll just go straight up and that. Hop across, and I think actually you do use this area to. Actually, you don't use this area to go up north and that. But I think yeah, I'll go back onto the main road, and then yeah, we'll do a little scoot and a boot up north. So yeah, pass vehicle workshop and that. And we're out of here. There we go, coming through the farm. So yeah, I think yeah, there's a track that actually goes around, but I think yeah, we just be a bit cheeky and cut through the farm we did, so... Actually yeah, I think the... was it pathway not here? Because I was looking at the PDA net. I know where we're going. So, actually, is there a pathway? Uh, technically, no, that, but you can make your own pathways and that, so. I think, yeah, should we head back across that? So. Because, yeah, I think there is a path up here. And then, yeah, that falls all the way down to back onto the main road and that. And then, yeah, he's at. I think. Does it loop around the bottom? I think it does. Oh no, yeah, it comes from that path area we came earlier. And then, yeah, just rejoins here. And so on. Actually, I'll yeah, we'll have a quick look at the grey mill now. And then, yeah, I think we'll join the main road from there. Again, yep, yeah, I know everything's been a bit fast paced now. But I'll try to get everything covered up without waffling on too much. Like I've done with the Lady Hill map tour and that, because that's going to come out before this. So we're around about the same time now. We're recording this one after Lady Hill. And then, yeah, by the time this is done now, it's going to be about 3 o'clock in the morning. And then, yeah, I'm sure it's edited and uploaded before I leave at half past five. And then, yeah, come back this evening, get the other map tour done, and then the mod review, because, yeah, today, or when this mod came out, or tomorrow, whatever, and that, basically Thursday, and that was a right off that for me. Just because, yeah, being busy and that, working, and... Plus, well, sleep schedule is a bit over place at the moment, so yeah, last couple of days just been a complete write off. And that I've got videos and that I want to upload. And that just a lot of it is requiring you the thumbnails and editing. But yeah, so open up the PDA again. So yeah, we'll come back across here. And yeah, this is going to lead us to again another little farm area. This is going to be a little orchard hub in that. And yeah, you can. Use you know, the farm buildings over here and that, so cut across. But yeah, I've got to say, the orchard snap, well done in that. I think it is actually have a row two over here and that. So yeah, you've wore a tank in that, apple trees, apple trees, apple trees, and that. And yeah, if you're encouraged by these apple trees, you can find them under, I think it's greenhouses or. No, it's not the greenhouses, it's the orchards and that. So, part of the 60 buildings pack. Of course, see how it's all been implemented, so... On its own, it is good mod and that. 
but with the full size of all your building, buildings of 200 megabytes. Sorry there, in digestion. Yeah, it may put some people off of that. And then, yeah, that is pretty much in that. So, opens up to a huge field area in that. So, really, you can come onto here and know, purchase all these little field areas in that. Again, yeah, we've got a small farm and then like a larger farm up here. But, yeah. If it was me now, I would possibly use this as a main hub for a farming act. Create my own custom farming act. Keep this as it is now. Keep this little orchard area in that. So people could come and pick their own fruits now in the summer and that. Then maybe, you know, create like one of these grasslands and that, grass fields and that. Something like this now. Prefer it to a main farm area and that. Or again, other areas are available and that. Obviously, you do have two main farms where you come onto the map replacing in already created, but again, try to get those creative juices flowing, so we're going to scoot across and I think there is a path over here that leads up yeah, through to the north section over here and that. Actually, I think that's how you would get up to the north usually in that. Maybe there's a path in that around 4 and 67 in that, but obviously I didn't really have time to have a proper look at it, so I do apologize on that. But yeah, as we head up here in that, another pre-placed farm area over here. Got a shed in that. Or again, yeah, could be a little pre-placed farm area, potentially. There's plenty of options of how you want to set up the map and how you want to. For example, you know, just have that shed in that. Saw a couple of bits of your equipment at. And then, yeah, run out of harvester and that. Does open up to many, many creative ways of how you can play this map. And yeah, get things implemented. It's all very, actually, very nice. Eh? Something that actually like this would be a good like, vintage survival now, you know, small scale farming net. Or a good like, role play and storytelling map. That would be a very good area for this net. You know, something like, like what Dagrin does in that. But, anyways, I think that is pretty much everything I got covered up because of my nose. Yep, all looks good in that, so let's go reset this back to the store in that. Oh, yeah, final thoughts and conclusions. So, oh, yeah, oops, I did forget in that. I completely over forgot this area, didn't I? In that, so actually, let's quickly cover this area in that. So, yep, yeah, spawn point and reset point for your equipment. Actually, yeah, I'll use this as a little tour around the section because yeah, you've got your sheep pasture, bakery net. Look at that sawmill on that, so yeah, actually, it's a perfect time to yeah, wrap up the map, final thoughts and conclusion. Overall, I'll give this map a 5, a 4 out of 5. The reason why it's 4 out of 5 is because it's, it is a well done map in that, don't get me wrong. But yeah, what's putting me off is the required mods that, 208 megabytes in that. But even that... I can't say what for half a gig and that 500 gigabytes and that for a map like this. As it is, if the map was like this, that 500 gigabytes without the required mods, I've got to say it's actually not a problem now. Actually, I do like it in that. But it's just the required mods now. I am coming around to the idea of required mods, but yeah, overall, it's actually a well done map. It's actually a very good, well done, top notch map it is. Yeah, everything that puts me off is the fault, not the fault size, the required mods in that. That's why it's losing a star in that. Is it harsh? Maybe in that. But overall, in that is a stunning map. Love the landscape and love the views in that. And even with said required mods, it's all be done in a good way now. It's all be well implemented in that. Very beautiful. Nothing is jarring. Nothing sticks out like a sore thumb in that. But anyways, that is the Horringen by Ascardo TV. And if you found this map tour helpful and informative in some way, shape or form, then please leave a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please do. If you want to share then please be my guest. But as far as you do, hope you have a nice day, and this is from Revolution Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.